Today, I will mainly be making demon faces. A bit like that. Reader. Hello, 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 what is occurring dudes? And welcome to the Media Channel. I'm your host, William Hugh. And in this episode, we are going to do a demon face effect Arrgh. using nothing but one of the preset Sony Vegas Pro effects. And it is really easy to do. Oh yeah. And it goes like this. First, record a clip of yourself doing a scream like this. Then drag your clip into Sony Vegas. So here we are in Sony Vegas and here is my clip. Now I won't need the soundtrack, there's nothing on it anyway, so I'll just get rid of it by right clicking on it, choose group, remove from and unlink it from the video. And then right click and delete. What we're going to do now is use one of Vegas' effects to exaggerate the mouth when it screams. So click on the event FX here and find the pinch punch effect. And there it is, so double click on it, click OK, and here is the effect. Now I'll just uh, move this and shrink it a bit so you can see the preview as well. Now this effect will add a punched or pinch effect centered around where you locate this dot on the screen, and we need to center it on the mouth like this. Now these two sliders are linked by default, but by clicking here you can unlink them which gives you more control over the horizontal and vertical boundaries of the effect. So I'll just click forward a few frames to get the scream at its greatest, and then I'll fiddle with the sliders for maximum effect. Now I think that looks pretty good. Now because this is a moving image, we're going to have to animate it. So click here, and we get a timeline track on which we can place keyframes, recording the position and state of the effect at any point on the clip. So to create a point, I need to click the Add button here, which will record the state of the effect at this point. Now I'm going to click back frame by frame to the point at which the scream is just about to begin. And here I'm going to create another key point, and then bring the effect down to zero so that the clip looks normal. If I now click through frame by frame, you can see the effect increasing as it moves between the two key points. And now I'm going to click through to the point where the mouth begins to close. If the head had moved a lot between these two points, you would have had to track the center of the mouth with the dot in the box control. But the head in this clip is relatively static, and I don't need to do that. So I'll just create another key point here. And this ensures that the effect does not change since the last key point, because they're both the same. And now I'm going to click forward to the point where the mouth is nearly closed, and add a final key point. Now move the effect slider back to zero, and just to test I'm going to click through the two points. And that looks fine, so I'll just quickly run through it to see what it's like. Not bad, but it could do with the effect coming in a bit faster. So I'll just click on the timeline, and use my mouse wheel to zoom in, and I'm going to drag the effect keyframe closer to the first one, so it comes in quicker. And we'll just try that. Yes, that's better. Now running through the whole sequence, I can see there is some distortion at the beginning of the clip, which means there must be a rogue key point there somewhere. So a quick look, and there it is. So just click on it, and move the effect slider to zero. Try it now. And that's better. And that is basically the effect right there. But if you really wanted to go to town, you could add another pinch punch effect to the eyes. Like this. Open the effects, and double click on the punch pinch again. You have now two versions of the same effect running. And if you click animate, you will see a new timeline has appeared for the second effect which is handy because you can use all the markers in the first timeline to position your new ones. So let's make sure the first marker is set to zero this time, and let's line the cursor up with the next key point. Click on the bottom track to select it, and add a new key point. Now add another under the next key point, and here we'll add a bit of effect so we can see what we're doing. And this time I'm going to bring down the slider to make a pinch effect and I'm going to center the effect right between the eyes, which is a little bit fiddly and may take some time. 
and I'll adjust the two sliders to fine-tune the effect I'm looking for. And that looks pretty good to me. So again, I'll add a key point to the new track to keep the effect constant between the two points. And finally, one more key point pulling the effect back to zero to return the video to normal. So let's just check that. And that looks fine. All that's left now is to bring in the Scream sound effect. And if you want to use the same sound effect, you can find a link in the write-up below. So we just add the effect to where the Scream starts, and you're done. So just select the clip, render to video, and this is what you get. And that's it, the easy demon face effect. Great fun. And as I mentioned earlier, if you want the Scream sound effect for your own videos, then you can download it from the link in the write-up below. Well, that is your lot for now. Thanks for watching. And before you go, don't forget to comment, like and share. And if you haven't already done so, you might want to consider hitting the subscribe thingy. There. Because that way, I'll see you here next time. And every time. On, on the, the Media, Media Channel. Channel.